Hey, welcome back. It's National Poetry Month, and at least once during National Poetry Month, I have to wear my Sylvia Plath shirt. Team Plath. There's a story behind this shirt and the other shirt that matches it, and that is that I teach Sylvia Plath and Ted Hughes during the senior IB English class. Now, if you know anything about these two poets, Sylvia Plath married Ted Hughes, and they had a really tumultuous relationship. Her last book of poetry before she died was called Ariel. In Ariel, she writes a lot of very personal poetry about, in a big part, her relationship with Ted, and just how very toxic that relationship is. It's some of her best poetry, but it's also very intense and very emotional. Then, tragically, she committed suicide. Ted Hughes wrote a book called Birthday Letters, which was poetry he wrote in response to Sylvia's death for the next several years. It was published later in his life, but a lot of the poems are direct responses to Plath's Ariel. It makes for a very interesting and provocative study when you have both sides to a really intense argument and relationship. Discussion in class sometimes gets heated as some of my students tend to side with Ted Hughes and some of them tend to side with Sylvia Plath. Sylvia Plath is at times erratic and intense in her struggle with mental illness, but Ted Hughes is unfaithful. So many years ago, my second year teaching this actually, I had students who decided to make Team t-shirts. They made Team Plath and Team Hughes t-shirts. Today I'm wearing the Team Plath t-shirt because I'm going to read you a poem from Ariel. It's called The Rabbit Catcher. And tomorrow I'll read the companion poem in Birthday Letters by Ted Hughes. The Rabbit Catcher by Sylvia Plath. It was a place of force, the wind gagging my mouth with my own blown hair, tearing off my voice, and the sea blinding me with its lights, the lives of the dead unreeling in it, spreading like oil. I tasted the malignancy of the gorse, its black spikes, the extreme unction of its yellow candle flowers. They had an efficiency, a great beauty, and were extravagant like torture. There was only one place to get to, simmering, perfumed, the paths narrowed into the hollow, and the snares almost effaced themselves, zeros shutting on nothing, set close like birth pangs. The absence of shrieks made a hole in the hot day a vacancy. The glassy light was a clear wall, the thickets quiet. I felt a still busyness, an intent. I felt hands round a tea mug, dull, blunt, ringing the white china. How they awaited him, those little deaths. They waited like sweethearts. They excited him. And we, too, had a relationship. Tight wires between us, pegs too deep to uproot, and a mind like a ring sliding shut on some quick thing, the constriction killing me also. You can see how very intense Sylvia's imagery is. She has this brilliant contrast between extremely violent imagery and very still, quiet imagery. There's that sense at the beginning that her voice is being stripped away, and there's also that repeated image of being strangled, which relates to the snares that she finds that are to catch and strangle rabbits. And all of it seems to be a rather heavy metaphor for her relationship with Ted. There's so much packed into this poem that I don't have time to examine it all, but it's well worth looking through again. In any case, for today, we'll let Sylvia rest. But tomorrow, we'll look at Ted Hughes' response. Thanks for watching. You can click to subscribe or to watch another video and click to watch tomorrow's video as soon as it's up. Have a great day.